Hey everybody, um, I just wanted to make this video to let you guys know that I'm doing better than I was yesterday. I am not sure if what was happening was an adverse reaction to the medications or if I was just having a bipolar moment. But anyway, my meds had finally kicked in. I took them kind of late last night, so um, they didn't kick in until about 1 in the morning, and I just got really, really tired, and I basically just went to sleep, and I'm awake today. I feel a little anxious, but nothing like yesterday, but I'm keeping track of it, and if anything gets more serious with my if my moods get more serious or anything like that and I feel I can't do you know be where I am I will go to the emergency room you know it's very difficult oh mama I'm making a video honey what are you doing? I'm making a video go eat go eat your lunch I'm Okay. Uh, oh, you thank you. All right, go watch a movie then. I'm going to get a piece of gum. Okay, then go pick out a movie. Uh -huh. Um, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> anyway, I'll go to the hospital if I feel that I need to, if I feel I'm out of control. So, um, and I made the right decision last night. I, instead of just handling things in an impulsive way, I called I called the hospital and I talked to the emer someone on staff in the emergency room and and the people within that circle. And uh, oh, I remember what I was gonna say. Um, but I talked to those people, and you know, unfortunately, they couldn't the psychiatrist on call couldn't um you know talk with me or give out advice because I wasn't her patient and I'm under the care of a different psychiatrist at the moment so you know with with insurance that's just the way that that it is but I did have the option to go to the ER and what I w had forgotten or not forgotten but what I remembered um is that I tend to have my episodes at night and at night on the weekends which is not the best time to really have episodes like that because you know less people are available to help and it's not anything it's not like I plan it that way on purpose or anything it's just the way that it it happens I, I actually was thinking back to you know all the times when I w was hallucinating or having a problem or or whatever and not just recently but in my lifetime and they always seem to happen at night I don't know what it is about nighttime but I mean there I have had episodes of you know like when I tried to kill myself that was during the day you know but it just makes it difficult to get the help you need even if it's just advice um, but I also I forgot to mention a few things in in the video that I made prior to the one I just made um, I was recently diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and that's not something that is unexpected um, it was always a question and I guess now I met the criteria so I decided that I've been doing a lot of videos about bipolar and I did make a video about multiple diagnoses that I have and I th I've been thinking, I'm like, I think that I should make videos also on those 
disorders and how they affect my life and how they interact with each other. I think I think it would be um, interesting and informative and good for me to you know talk about those things because if I just focus on one disorder and I have more than one and this is just personally I feel that it's not helping so it's almost like saying okay I have this disorder but I'm only choosing to talk about this one so therefore this one is the only one that exists and I I just want others to know that you know we all have our own issues and it's okay to talk about them and give each other support I mean that's that's why I'm here I mean I'm here to kind of help myself and and help others if, if I can even if it's just them listening to me talk and they relate to something that I say so I'm gonna start doing that um and the topics that I'm gonna be talking about uh, along with bipolar are panic disorder post-traumatic stress disorder and borderline personality disorder um, so it's still I'm still gonna write do my videos the same way I'm gonna put the heading first so it's gonna say like borderline personality disorder and then what I'm talking about I just think it makes it easier for people to find what they want to watch for videos I just I don't know I'm just I'm like that <laughs> I'm, I kinda categorize things that way so I just wanted to let you guys know that and also um, I can't do the EMDR until I'm stable so until I get to a better place wherever that is <laughs> whenever that will be um, I can't do that particular therapy so um, that's where I'm at right now so I'm just kind of I'm I'm taking it moment by moment, really. Moment by moment. So, I hope everyone's doing well. And if you're not, you have my support. You know, you can always... And if anyone ever feels that they want to email me or something, you can. Um, you know, you don't just have to send a message. You know, I'm also on, on Facebook. I created a... I created a different page because I wanted to make one that was separate from my normal regular friends and family page um, and it's uh, mental health awareness it's mental health slash awareness and you can and I really enjoy if people um, made it to the page you can um, you can friend me and you can like the page because it's it's not based on you know your friends or family it's just it's for people with mental health issues so um, if you want to do that feel free um, that way we have a place you know another place to kinda of talk and uh, you know and and create support for one another so yeah okay well, I'm gonna go now I hope everyone's doing well